pile, um, just a really quick one from me today. Uh, I'm going to be sh doing a series of sort of um, typography, uh, very, very short tutorials, or short as I can. This one's going to be quite short. Um, we're looking at today creating something along the lines of this. So you don't need to worry too much about the little tap logo scaling up, but what I want you to, what, what we're going to be covering is how to do this tracking effect, okay? When individual characters move a space apart from each other like they do in this animation. That's called tracking. Not tracking as in motion tracking, just tracking, okay? Now you'll see this in the title sequence to Heroes. They do it really, really well. Quite a lot slower and it's really, really impactful with the sort of, uh, you know, the globe and the sun shining behind it. Um, so we're going to have a look at how to create just a basic sort of animation like this, okay? So I'm going to close that one down. I'm going to create a new composition and we'll call it tracking text. Okay, HTTV 108025, I'm, I'm fine with all that. You pick your own settings, the ones that work for you. I'm going to use 25 frames per second and let's go, actually I don't need 10 seconds, I think about 5 seconds should be good. And then let's click OK. So we've got this. Now I'm going to create a new solid, so either come layer, new and then solid or control Y, whatever. I'm not going to go for completely black. I'm just going to get a little sort of gray like this and click OK and click OK. And that looks a bit better. Now you may notice that my sort of layout is brighter. And the way I did that earlier was by going to edit preferences and where is it? Appearance. Now the reason I did this is because I went for quite a dark gray and by default, my uh, background was dark grey as well and it was a very similar colour so I thought just so I can see what's going on I'd brighten everything up uh, just so I can see the border and it just made it a bit easier. Uh, next I'm going to get my horizontal type tool and I'm just going to type creative tap okay and I'm going to centre this there you go okay cool so this is this is the text that I want to animate the track in you can Pick whatever font, colour, size you want. I'm going to leave it with that because I know that worked earlier. Um, but, you know, you've got all the controls here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the beginning. And if I click the drop down for the text layer, you've got animate. Okay, if I click this, we've got, here it is, tracking. So give that a click. And the tracking amount is what we want to keyframe. So currently it's set to zero. Let's give that a click. And we'll come for this, done both of them. We'll come forward, so give that one a click. Got a nice little keyframe. We'll come forward to about three seconds. And we'll crank this up to about, let's go with 50. Okay, so if I shorten my work area, this is what we've got. It's a very, it's a, it's a linear animation at the moment. It's sort of, it, each frame, it animates an equal amount of space in, so. What I'm going to do is I want this to be, you know, smoother and bouncier. So I'm going to get this last keyframe and I'm going to hit F9. And it's now an easy ease keyframe. So you'll if we play it back now. We'll say that we'll see that as it gets towards the end, it kind of eases to a stop. OK, and that's good, but I want to play with it a bit more. So I'm going to select these keyframes and go to my graph editor and make sure you are in the speed graph. And I'm going to select this one. Just give it a click and I'm going to pull this over here like so. So now we've got a quicker animation at the beginning. So let's have a look. And then it gradually comes to a lot slower stop and that's nice and smooth. There we go. So that's basically how you animate that track in, okay? Um, now obviously you could have a wiggle on this if you want. You can animate it like a little wiggle. Um, now what else am I going to do? The tap. So I'm just going to bring my tap logo down here. And let's scale it down to let's say 50. And yeah, I think that's how big I'll want it when it comes in. So let's go back to the beginning. Zero. Give it a keyframe. And let's hit U on this top layer so I can see where my other keyframe was. It's three seconds. So I'll come here and change this to 50. And now we're going to do the same again. So the last keyframe, F9. And let's put that back in place, actually. Where's that other keyframe gone? There it is. 
sorry let me just put that back there we go now I'm going to click and select both of these again go to my graph editor click this and I'm going to do exactly the same so we get a very similar animation okay now let's have a watch of both of these together okay so we've got that kind of nice slow fluid animation so that's you know how you do your tracking again if you wanted to put a wiggle on there for example let's have a look uh, alt click wiggle open brackets five times a second by 20 let's see what that looks like okay so you know you may not want that but it's quite interesting it look I'm sure with in, in the right uh, sort of piece it would look pretty interesting but um, anyway I'm gonna delete that wiggle and that's the end of the tutorial it was quite a short one but uh, I'm gonna be doing more of these over the next few days so yeah hope you enjoyed